Folks, a Labor Day special, Mr. John Storer. Uh, and you can't get a more appropriate game player name than that. Look behind him. He's got shelves full of games here. Come on. It's perfect. Uh, I came across, John, I came across your blog You're called the Classic uh, Sports Gamer. You've got sites on WordPress and Weebly, and you've played, you've run a gamut of games status pro uh strato of course our favorite app of football and you've done the basketball and you did a 72 season nba uh nba finals replay uh you've got a lot of stuff going on here a lot of Bengals replays you can see the Bengals hat the great stripes there and the <laughs> app or shirt all dialed in perfectly here john thanks so much for joining us here oh thanks for having me jeff Man, uh, how did you get into, how do you kind of juggle all these games and know the rules? Um, it's very, I go through the instructions very detailed before I start a project. I almost rewrite the instructions. Interesting. And, uh, Interesting. Yeah. Um, currently, I'm replaying the 74 Bengals with the a game called uh, TSG1 Table Sports Games. It was a, a game by GameCraft. All right. Interesting. No longer in print, or is it so? No, no. I think they're they're out of business. They've right. been out of business for years. Um, how I got a hold of the game, my friend Vinny sent it to me from the Delphi forums. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that was really nice. And uh, uh, recently, I purchased uh, uh, another season. So if I ever want to replay another season or uh, bingo replay or whatever, you know, cool. I'm, I'm, I, I like to play and I like to collect. For sure. Yeah, we can see there's like a, it's, it's like a gorgeous set up here i mean it's like uh <laughs> it's a, it's quite the museum there um what to, well obviously you're a bengals fan of all the replays i'm just going to read down because you you very nicely include a list of all the replays you've done you did 79 bengals with apple football one of my personal favorite seasons you did the 81 bengals with advanced strato 85 bengals with status pro and now you're doing 74. You also did 05 Bengals with Appa Master. So quantify for it. What's kind of, how are the games, how do they play out against each other? Um, I was just looking over my replay of the Appa Big Board, and it came out pretty well. The only thing, the penalties were a little light. Hmm. Interesting. Usually it seems like there's like they're like throwing them at you, but that's interesting. Yeah, um, and I've read, you know, on all these games, people's in, in, innovations, and they're usually right, but I need to find stuff out for myself. Sure, sure. You know? No, that's a great point. I mean, you, you don't really know until you encounter these things. And maybe uh, maybe it's an anomaly, too, you know. One replay doesn't, you know give you all the answers no for sure for sure that's that's now when you when you read all these rules you kind of rewrite i mean do you physically like rewrite yes <laughs> with, with word nice and then i'll i'll do like a uh quick reference sheet sometimes you know and then that way if i play the game again i have that to you know look over i you know I've got a bunch of shortcuts for like status pro football because uh, I haven't played. It's been four or five years since I've played that game. And so if I want to replay another one, I would have at least the uh, instructions to look over. Nice. Smart. Do you post those on your site? Because you post archives and all of your replays. Uh, yeah, um, I. I I've got the Weebly site where uh, I've moved some of my replays over to that. Nice. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How many games do you own and when did you start to play and how? All that good stuff. Well, I, I, I knew you were going to ask that, but 
unfortunately, I started about 15 minutes before we were going to have our interview, and okay. I did count. I own uh, 22 APA games. Whoa. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, four are the same. Like, I think I have three or four of this, the, just the big board football game. Sometimes I'd have to buy the game to get the season I yeah. want. You know, and um, uh, I've got, uh, I think it was like, you know, well, the only game I don't have, surprisingly, is the old basic game. You know, uh, I've got the um, the old master game. Mm -hmm. And, and of course, the new and the old base or the the new the new master game and basic game uh, and that. Uh, a game from like 90, it was copyright, copyright 93, mm -hmm. I believe, yeah. and uh, a uh, APA 66, which is, it's unopened, so I just left it like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you've got an, a 66, what game? Baseball, football? Uh-huh, baseball. Oh, 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 oh. unopened. Yeah, what? it's not that rare, but uh, I mean, I've seen them on eBay. Yeah. Um, the uh, basketball master game's a little hard to find, and plus the two uh, uh, revisions Apple put out. Right, I right. Guess, I guess in the 90s. Yeah. You're the only second person, I think, Jerry Zajac of the National Card Football League has actually done full season uh, NBA or ABA replays. Yeah, Jerry helped me. A okay. Bit when I had questions. Nice. Yeah, I think he's the one that pointed out I was doing the rebounding wrong. <laughs> um, that uh, it, I had I bought a '60s game, and by the time the '70s came around, App had um, made changes because I, I posted something. My rebounding numbers weren't coming out. The Lakers were overly dominant. Mm. And uh, uh, I wrote down how I was doing it. I think I was adding every player's, including every player's rebounding in the total where you're only supposed to include the top three. Okay. That was the, the APA revision. So I'm going to replay that that series at some point, maybe this this winter or after I do my uh, finish my football project. And where are you in that 74 Bengals replay? How many games in? Um, I'm, I'll be starting week three. Oh, wow. Okay. Pretty good season for them now. No, they were seven and seven. It was a, a, it was kind of a strange year because you had the Bergy, Bill Bergy issue. The Bengals took the either him or the WFL to court because he'd signed a futures contract. Yeah, I don't remember all this. I researched it, but uh, so are you, are you adding kind of a what if? Did he leave the team? He I, was traded before the season started. Okay. And in that game, the middle linebacker is pretty critical. Mm -hmm. it, your linebacker determines what index you use. It's it's kind of a a different game. Um, you uh, only you total positions, but only. For the run, you total the lineman and the tight end. And then uh, for the uh, pass, you total the lineman and the quarterback. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for the defense, you total certain positions for the run and for certain positions for the pass. And then you reference that total with the actual the defender. Like for the run, the middle – what do they call it? Middle guard. Yeah, all right. You know, middle linebacker. Uh, you use his num num what his rating is and cross reference it with the um, uh, total that or the difference between the offense and the defense. So it's it's kind of a fun game. 
What what do you say plays like the easiest? What's the easiest to roll? The like the least number you just said. You know, like the the penalties. Uh, you you were kind of light on penalties, and I you know, counted as kind of a lot of penalties. In some games, you just kind of roll penalty to penalty. What are kind of the easier rolling games? It just kind of flowed really nice. For me. Um, probably the APA basic game, nice. because for the master you have to roll for the index mm -hmm. every play. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. By rule, you know. I know some people do it per series, which is probably smart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, yeah, well, I th they didn't have that floating index. I didn't think the original. I get it back. No, but, uh, no. <laughs> I don't get the. No, uh, I used the uh, the defensive cards that Appa came out with. Right, right. For the um, my big board replay. Okay. You know, I I didn't want to do the roll the single die and one or two is uh, G alignment and three or four standard and five or six is the D. Mm -hmm. I wanted a little more, you know, and I was pretty happy with it. Call mm -hmm. defense. Nice. And I've actually for this replay, I'm not calling either offense or defense, which is a first for me. Usually I call the offense and use I'm uh, I'm rolling a D. I, first I figure out the percent run versus uh, dropbacks, right. pass attempts and sacks, and then you know divide the total to come up with the run percentage. And if it's like 55 percent, then I roll a D20 and one to 11 is a run. Yeah. And um, I I I you know have I edited. I if it's third and five or more i'll subtract five off the run number but there's times you know where uh they'll run on third and eight or something and exactly, yeah. it had you you it happened back then especially uh exactly you, you think what they're why are they running the ball <laughs> <laughs> hey if you know you get one of those three five seven outside guys on a light line you know it can work yeah so yeah it's there's it's yeah. I'm so glad you said because I did this solid. My solitaire thing is, I, I kind of, I say I call both by kind of setting up the line, but I also the D line and whatever and key or runner. But I, I shuffle the play cards. You may not see this on mm -hmm. the podcast. I'm shuffling uh, <laughs> based on you know 60 40. I put six run cards, four pass cards, but you can adjust it play by play, which is awesome. Right. So you really are running. You're really running both sides of the game, right? Kind of. Mm -hmm. And I use the, uh, you know, certain APA cards are built for inside run and outside run, and uh, some players are rated for both. So I, you know, to turn like maybe one to, for a, a, a tailback, mm -hmm. one to five would be an outside run and six a plunge and, yeah. you know, Perfect. try to use the players the way that, they were meant to be used. For sure, for sure. I find the four, six, uh, eight, 10, 12, 22 guys get, they'll gain more yards on an outside run than that scat back will on the inside. It was like yeah. that crushed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and for the master game, I used Doug Reese's uh, solitaire defensive chart. Right, right. I, I, I think it's pretty good at, you know, Basically, if you're in three wide, you'll usually be in nickel or uh, dime, mm -hmm. and it it kind of automates that. For sure, for sure. Nice. Yep, Doug Reese, a good shout out there. We're shouting out all the Apple guys here. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good community. Yeah. You know, I've gotten a lot from uh, Ogard's site. For sure. A lot of tips. Greg Barrett. Yep. Sometimes, <laughs> uh, you know, somebody said. I told him I was uh, playing a strat replay, and they said, why are you playing that game? <laughs> but, it, I mean, they do, to be fair, of course. I know It's, it's a fun game, too. I mean, I don't know if I could ever do a season replay with strat because I play the advance. I move the players around mm -hmm. based on a chart. Okay. So how did, does how much time does that add? Because it's nice you get the board and you can kind of move them around. But I could probably play a quarter a night if 
you know, it's especially, you know, after work. Yeah, right, right. And if, you know, the wife's occupied. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you sneak them in. <laughs> yeah, you know. But right now I'm, uh, baseball's taken up a lot of my time. I'm replaying uh, 68 uh, with Strat Super Advance and 71 season with the Appa Master game. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I play like, it's kind of nice because you kind of get tired of the same game when, when you're doing a baseball replay or probably a football, it's almost like you're married to the game. Exactly. And I, I play like from the, uh, first to the 15th of one game and then I'll switch to the other game. I'm in, uh, I'll be starting August with the Strat game, and I'm finishing up July with the Master game. Man, it's like your project manager. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what's on your, well, I, uh, let's see, I had two questions coming colliding at the same time. Do you ever take rules from one game to no. another? No. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I really haven't. I, I was uh, involved with uh, play by mail and play by email leagues um, up until about five years ago. I'm still in an action PC football league. That uh, that's my only really competitive league, unless you count fantasy football. Uh, sure, sure, sure. What's the name of the uh, action league? It's called the IFL. Oh, okay, where are they based? Uh, there's all kinds. Of, there's there's guys from Canada, guys uh, from um, Midwest. It's all over. We we play online. Okay. How many how many coaches total? Uh, thirty. Whoa. Thirty wow. team league. How do you manage all that? It's pretty easy with action. I mean, I just tell them this is the deadline and get your games in. And all these guys are, you know, they're veterans. They, you know, they know my expectations and uh, um, they good people. I'm very lucky to have, you know, be in a league with, you know, responsible, good people. How, uh, how long uh, have your members been in generally? It, the league started in 2001 or two, and um, I joined in two, 2007 or, or so, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's fun. I, I wouldn't like replay a season or anything with uh, the action game by myself. Mm. I think computer games don't have a soul. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Just to be uh, subtle about that. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know, if somebody wants to, there are people that do, and I understand they may not have the time to roll a game of app or, you know, I mean, it, the action games are pretty, it's pretty detailed, yeah. you know, uh, you know, compared to the board game somewhat. Well, and there are folks still play. I mean, I love to crank up Madden. I mean, how can you not? I mean, they all the graphics, and there are folks who still play in the app uh, football, the PC game, the DOS game. If you know, if you got it, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've never played that. I think I played the uh, old Miller Associates baseball game, but I didn't really like it because uh, I like math involved in the games, you know, and uh, it would say like a sharp single to left. Yeah. And so you wouldn't know, you know, well, can uh, Omar Marino score from second, you know, That's and plus uh, in in the uh, we did a lot of in innovations when I was in the APA master game baseball league in the 80s. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, we had our own pitching grades and. Yeah, there there was a lot of smart people in that league too. That one guy had to believe it or not ha memorize the rare play boards. 
<laughs> I do believe it. <laughs> nice. We'd uh, we'd play face to face, and at first I didn't, you know, I was kind of leery, and I'd look at it, and sure enough, you know, left fielder and third baseman collide. <laughs> nice. That's like a parlor trick, uh, you know. That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> How can nice. you know? But uh, yeah. I started playing APA baseball in like, uh, I think I got the 76 edition, the Reds, Red Sox. For sure, for sure. And um, and then APA football in 77. Oh, nice. Oh, great season too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it well, it was a 76 season. With Oakland, yeah, I used to, I when after football practice, I'd have a buddy over and we it'd be Oakland versus the Steelers or something or nice <laughs> yeah pretty hardcore stuff <laughs> yeah that was a lot of fun uh, did, were you playing high school ball college ball uh just high school nice nice yeah give a shout out there's a great game called uh, Friday Night Legends and the Car- Carlery Saturday Night Legend but Friday Night Legend we just talked to Chris Daly one of the founders Michael Wright is his partner they played high school ball. And it's like a team-based high school football game. Totally awesome. Totally unpaid, just to, you know, for folks. Or, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, '76, a hugely formative. Uh, Joe Moffat is play, playing that season right now. But um, really, App has had a big impact on my life overall. Um, you know, I, I, we would have conventions in our, you know, each year and have our draft and. You know, and uh, uh, early on in the league, all these people, you know, a lot of the people were uh, very successful people and th- they they had gone to college. And so it kind of uh, I was kind of floundering around in my early 20s, figuring out what I wanted to do. So um, I they had kind of influenced me to go 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 to school. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. What did you end up going to school for? Uh, ma- manufacturing engineering. Oh, no way. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. What did you work on? Well, I worked for a, uh, I've, I worked for a uh, conveyor company. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, for distribution centers and I've been with them since 89. Wow. I co-op there. I worked at a couple other places, but I always liked uh, that comp- that company, although it's been sold more than a couple times. Sure, sure. You know. So but, Apple leads careers, <laughs> basically. Yeah, you know. Um, you know, I grew up in a very rural uh, situation. We had a family, fa- we farmed about 500 acres of soybeans. Wow. Had uh, up until I was like eleven or twelve, we had three hundred head of hogs. Oh man! So uh, yeah, but uh, so yeah, it was uh, it was a good life, good growing up, you know. Man of the land, yeah, and not a yeah. lot of time for gaming then, because you're working sun up to sundown, I imagine. Now I'm in suburbia, though. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, farming's a tough life. You know, did you cat? What did you think of the uh, Field of Dreams game? Speaking of uh, fields and rural and cornfields and all, yeah, that was. Uh, I think the Reds are playing in it next year. Nice. So yeah, yeah, that'll be uh, something different. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was a pretty wise marketing move for sure, and beautiful. Uh, yeah. I was going to tell you how I became a Bengals fan. Uh, Yes. When I was like uh, eight or nine, my mom brought home this uh, helmet lamp. <laughs> what does they call that? Uh, uh, a serious prize, and uh, it's awesome. And I, I often thought about what if she would have brought home uh, Steelers or uh, Cowboys or Patriots lamp. <laughs> no way. Was she? A there would have been a lot more celebrating. Yeah, right. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Was, was your family into football at all, or was it just kind of a... No, not really. Uh, my brother was. Hmm. But, uh, you know, he, he 
He was actually, back then, uh, before the Bengals came along, you followed the Browns. Okay, sure. Yeah. But I know that was, I don't remember Greg Cook playing for the Bengals. I was probably like seven or something. Sure, sure. And, uh, but I remember, um, you know, Virgil Carter. Yeah. You know, my, my first, uh, my favorite was Essex Johnson. Oh, yeah. I, um, he was fun. And then, of course, you know, as a kid, you, I was kind of a Dolphins and Redskins fan because, uh, you know, they, uh, they the Dolphins had the undefeated season. And I think I, I got an electric football game with the Dolphins and Redskins one year. Oh, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. which is still huge and Tudor is actually doing uh, a, a Kickstarter for their like you know, the they're like a press on instead of painting the figures they have like these press on things they have mm -hmm. a little Bengals set like the uh, either the throwback or the uh, stripe uh, yeah really cool stuff so um, yeah for, for folks who are interested now put a link to that so it could have been <laughs> it could have been uh, but the yeah, I think you had another guess that said they couldn't get the quarterback to pass. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I joined that club. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, it, it kind of goes to Madden too. It's like you got to have some coordination thing going. Yeah. On. Yeah. So, my boys are into the video games. Uh -huh. You know, I. I uh, it's to me, it's uh, I don't have the dexterity or to do that anymore it's a, know, now i think there was a game in the early 90s called front page sports and it was kind of a fun football game i remember i had like a 99 yard run with ricky walter waters once nice you'd be proud yeah. <laughs> that's probably uh i never really got into the madden or you know the uh the baseball my my oldest is really into the baseball game he plays people online all right sure sure yeah, yeah. It's, it's that's a completely different mindset and i know they do like the madden football they do the ratings the strength ratings. yeah but it's like how do you really tell because you're playing the computer ai ultimately it's going to do things i mean at certain points in the game if you're behind it's going to start doing that's the way I always kind of. It's kind of like grading a draft the day after the draft. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like, hmm, I don't know. I mean, you know, the board replication gives you time to kind of digest it all, I guess. I mean, that's, you know, mm -hmm. but in any case, it's, uh, <laughs> we'll go down the list here. What else you got? Uh, so do you do anything like uh, any golf or bowling or saddle racing and anything like that? I have the bowling and the saddle racing game, but I've yet to play them. Ooh, nice. All right. All right. I don't have the a golf game yet. Okay. I, I, I'm not a big golfer, but uh, I tried it, but just didn't uh, really do a, a whole lot for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe someday. As long as, yeah, <laughs> there's always time. I get my activity cutting the grass. There you go. Well, that's it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. That's well. Hope well. We don't want too bad a winter here, but we want some winter, I guess. You know, that'll be coming mm -hmm. to fall and all that stuff and football weather for sure. You did, actually did a replay of the '91 Lions. Now, how did they sneak into your repertoire? Well, that's funny because uh, I got a, a few comments. Why are you replaying the Lions? I wanted to do a Barry Sanders replay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to do other teams, but uh, it seems like my audience there enjoys the Bengals. There's a lot more Bengals fans out there than I realized. Interesting. I worked with a guy at uh, Wiley Publishing. He had a Bengals uniform, Bengal, Bengals uh, whatever, uh, paraphernalia, let's say. I was like, yeah, heck yeah. A couple great Super Bowls, man. Close. Some of the best. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I thought this, the second one broke my heart. That's a rough one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, broke Tim Crumry's leg. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, my God. Jeez. Oof. I don't know if they'll ever get back. Uh, you know, it's uh, well, it's like the Steelers. It took, like, it, four years of just, like, being you know, 
Dickens. Right. Yeah, they that was before my time, but yeah, I know things were bad till Chuck Noll came along. Who came from the Browns, who are related to the Bengals, so there you go. It comes right. from ultimately. <laughs> But uh, we have the we might have the first first round pick that could be comeback player of the year this year. Oh, nice, Jamar Chase. There you go. There you go. What do you right think? About now he can't catch the football. <laughs> preseason, preseason. Right. What do you think the seventeen game season is going to look like? How do you think that's going to play out? I don't know. I enjoyed the like the fourteen game back in the day. I mean, it, the thousand yard rusher meant something back then. Exactly. 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 Yeah. I guess now maybe a two thousand year. They might as well go to eighteen games and have an even. For sure. Even amount of games, maybe I mean, two bye weeks, but. Oh, there you go. Well, that's it. It's gonna, they're trying to extend it a little, that extra ad revenue and all that TV revenue. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was just listening to an interview with John Banizak, uh, mm-hmm. Steeler the Steeler lineman. And, and, he, and he was talking about, they had a, I think a, in 76 season going back, they had a seven game preseason. It was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, six or seven. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. I mean, I don't really remember it, but I know they did like in the, you know, 70s. I don't know when it, they cut it back. I guess when maybe when they went to 16 games. Mm, yeah, 78 would make sense. Sure, sure. And I think 76 was that also the last year they did the uh, NFL versus college all-stars. Probably uh, because didn't somebody, I know Pat McAnally got hurt. Ah, yeah, right, right, right. You know. Yeah, <laughs> not not a good place to lose your folks. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can you imagine doing that now with your yeah. <laughs> million dollar rookies? That would be, yeah, especially with like, yeah, now, now it's a whole different, uh, uh, being, uh, it'd be kind of interesting though. I mean, I mean, these, these college guys are a lot more, it seems like, prepared. Mm hmm. So, they are. Not to say it used to be you'd set your quarterback for a year or two. Of course, now you have the you you want it, want the rookie quarterback because of the cap space, and you can improve all the other positions. Uh, yeah, that's it. It's uh, <laughs> evolution of the game. Um, let's see. Have you? I don't see. So your audience is really into the Bengals replays. How about any Reds? Speaking of the Reds, seventy six. Um. I don't really like to do single team baseball replays. I'll do a whole season. Okay. And, you know, because it just, it, it just uh, I don't know, just me, I guess. But uh, I'm I'm going to uh, I want to do a football full season football replay next. Mm. Um, I'm probably going to use Appa probably. Probably the basic game because uh, I want to do a 70s season and uh, I don't really think you need the master game, all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Yeah, no, three wide receiver uh, sets were pretty rare back then. Yeah, and nickel was rare until later and mm-hmm. no dime. So I think you can get, get a good replay with the – you know, the basic game. I just have to debate if I want to buy, uh, use the new basic game and buy new cards or you know, I've got plenty of seasons for the big board game. Yeah. That's a kind of, that's kind of the thing that kind of gives you a headache with that book. Cause there's, you, you got to use the right boards with the cards. Well, I, I know there's, uh, there's something you can, Somebody put out something to uh, adjust. Yes, there the was results. A, there was an app. There was an app. A journal article I, I recall. I was just looking at it. I think from seventy nine, let's say or eighty something. That uh, well, it would absolutely be obviously eighty something. Why would they do it before the master game came out? But yeah, it tells you how to use the uh, new cards with the old board. But really, any any season 
printed after 1983 will work with any charts after 83. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty much the dividing year. So. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know. If but you I would probably want to do earlier than that. Yeah, 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 70s, anything. 70s. Yeah. Well, and it, well, yeah, no, so that's the thing. I'm leaning toward uh, 72, uh, oh. not because of the Dolphins, but because of Bobby Douglas. Oh, interesting, nice. Yeah. He was still with the Saints then, or was he? No, he was a bear. No, oh, okay. He he rushed for like eight hundred yards, I think. And right, right, right. Greg Greg Landry, I also I think was a pretty good running quarterback back then. Now that I'm glad you brought that up because there was just a discussion. Joe Moffa doing his seventy six replay. Got a he, you know, on the on the on the and the Apple cards. You said you do a pass play. You roll and you look on the quarterback card, there are scramble numbers, 26 and 27 in the results. Mm -hmm. And so in that case, it was like, well, if you get zero yards, is that a sack or a rushing attempt? And it's ultimately a sack because it's it was initiated by a, a pass play, essentially. So so mm -hmm. you, actually you would have to be calling him kind of on a run, I guess, uh, if it's yeah. a team, if, if yeah. it's as far as the scramble would be built in. Yeah, football replays... I mean, I I think about uh, how do you, you know, do the locators? Do you do it for who played the particular game or, you know, or based on the season, you know, their their attempts, how it, you know, winds up? That's it. Well, I, that's, I mean, how much prep do you, yeah, that's it. It's like, right. you, go, you know, pull this guy and put him in. I mean, that's it. What do you, what's your preference? Do you? Like, right. Uh, and that, that I'm still debating. Okay. I've kind of been, for this latest replay, I've been doing with the Bengals, uh, just using whoever carried the ball that particular game. Because mm -hmm. I know later on, Booby Clark breaks his arm and misses uh, like half the season. Right, right, right. So. So that's it. I mean, that's the what if aspect. Do you keep him in the whole way? But his numbers kind of don't reflect that on the card. But still, you know, mm -hmm. the whole season, who knows? Yeah, I would probably use, uh, I'm leaning toward the actual injuries, like mm -hmm. instead of uh, an, action, an as played mm -hmm. for, okay. for um, if, I, if I use APA to replay a season but i'm still i'm probably a year year and a half away from finishing my baseball so i have plenty of time to think about it <laughs> for sure for sure but uh and then uh sometime I, i've got 1975 set up with replay baseball okay to, to, uh, that's another game i played uh as a you know, not a kid, but in my 20s, I was in a league for a little bit. Actually, until I decided to go back to school or go to school. How many leagues ultimately have you been in? Oh, I don't know, 30 or 40, probably. Oh there were uh, retro leagues. That's just, that's baseball and basketball. Wow. Basketball league. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I started a basketball league. I think it's still going in uh, like the late uh, 80s. Nice. Man, good era for basketball too, you know, shift over yeah. the Pistons, the Bulls, yeah. yeah. That was with the Stratomatic game, not APA. Interesting, interesting. Totally different game engine, some overlap or? No, I think nothing compares to APA basketball. <laughs> he says, "Not letting it hang." Good or bad. Although I, I enjoyed it, I, I uh, you know, it was kind of fun uh, uh, because you don't use uh, any kind of fast action cards. Mm. It's the only basketball game I've ever played where there's, you know, not fast action cards involved. Interesting. But, Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try that replay again and see if the numbers come out. Uh, but I mean, it's you know, there's it's just different. There's different uh, f floor areas, you know, where you uh, you can uh, and 
you can get a basket if your passing total adds up to a certain number, mm. I think. So you have to kind of, if you get a really low passing number, you may want to shoot instead of trying to pass again, because I think you get two or three attempts to pass the ball. Okay. You know, but uh, it, it's different. Nice. And it doesn't take a month to play a game. Maybe, <laughs> there it maybe is. five, at the most, a week. <laughs> that's up to you. I could do a quarter a night. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, that's, a, that's a wise tale. <laughs> oh, man. I want, now I'm curious to see what a Madden, if they're an NBA or something, where if that takes a – anyway. That's a whole. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll play that game. Right I heard the uh, the that uh, they the guy that runs Appa now John uh, wanted uh, got a copy of Fast Break, the Fast Break basketball game by Jim Mickey right. to look at. So uh, I don't know if maybe he's thinking about uh, introducing a new basketball game. You never know. You never know. I mean, I, I heard him say in a podcast they had a couple of cricket games on his desk. So, who knows? Mm. That's a, I he, wouldn't know anything about that. I know. It's a, but for, just for the collection. It would look so good right on that yeah. shelf. Yeah, Appa it's Cricket. A, pay dirt. I see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I replayed the, uh, oh, it was the Colts and the Cowboys Super Bowl using pay dirt. Or well, I think it was a Sports Illustrated back then. Right, yeah, yeah. And um, I would, I came up with locators for the ball carriers based on what kind of run play it was. Okay. And uh, you know, like Norm Bullosh would be a, a, I don't even remember what their inside run, would be a dive or plunge or whatever, and and maybe a little bit off tackle and a slight chance at an end run or sweep. Uh, pay dirt's kind of a fun game. It's very colorful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty tidy and compact. Yeah. Right? And uh, the off the way that you determine the offense versus the defense and, you know, the priority chart. Get it back. I don't think I'd ever replay a season using it with, you know, but – it was just something that I thought it'd be kind of fun to, you know, throw in actual ball carriers for the results. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's, they're doing that with, I don't know if you've seen Fast Drive Football, uh, which is Al Wilson, uh, his take. Uh, he used kind of, uh, with their permission, with plays permission, the second season kind of engine. Mm -hmm. It's a drive-by-drive -drive game. People are going crazy for it. And one of the first things they did one of the modifiers, either Mark Miller, who goes by the name Jerry Kwan, or Brian Martin, I think it was uh, uh, Mark Miller, Jerry Kwan, uh, did an allocator for, you know, it's great. You just got teams going back and forth, but he wanted to allocate, you know, who scored the touchdown, who's, you know, how much yardage. Same thing you're talking about, you know, same thing you did. It's like, there's mm -hmm. that, ultimately, it's like, what is that thing that pushes you? Like, I got to know what that guy did. His is probably a lot more scientific than mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever works, you know. But, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's like it's just an interesting thing. It's like, man, you know, ultimately, as I would, you know, it's I don't know for me maybe interesting. But uh, that you know, and there are fast score games and whatnot. A couple, there are a couple games, I guess, uh, down in his game winning drive. But uh, ultimately, it comes down to like, what are your guys? Oh, that's actually one I want to ask you. So looking at you know, again, you've got a seventy four Bengals TSG. 79 Bengals Appa Basic, uh, 85 Bengals Status Pro. You've got uh, 91 Lions Appa Master, 05 Bengals Appa Master. Do you look back at all the stats for that season and that game and compare the accuracy of those games? Not the games, but the season totals. Okay. Um, what came closest, do you think? Probably the master game. Right. Although Strat's pretty accurate too. Mm -hmm. I think it. The only thing with Strat 
I mean, you, I, I use locators to determine interceptions where APA rates them, and you. I, now I do use the the like for the re, the receiver the chart, you know, for the interceptions and receptions. Although sometimes that can be frustrating because you have to keep rolling till you you get the range. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. I was and I've used locators before too. So yeah, it's easy to set them up too. I mean, one to twelve, yeah. twelve or eleven to six, six, whatever. I mean, however you want to do it. You know. Um, I just had another question. What is on your wish list? So you got a lot of games going on here. Do you have any games on your wish list, old or new? Um. Yeah, the computer basketball would be nice. Ooh, yeah. That's a really old game from the uh, 70s, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a board game. Okay. <laughs> they call it, that's interesting. It's called computer basketball. Love it, love it. And, um, oh, I'm trying to think. There, I'm sure there's... Uh, now, I just recently purchased a long ball uh, baseball game, 76 edition, which was really high on my wish list. Nice. I don't know if I'll ever play it. I might do like a, a World Series, you know, to check, try out some of these games I've never played. A big thing for me is I like everybody to be carded to do a replay, season replay. Yeah which uh, APA does with their newer sets, the revised sets. Strat, um, they have extra carded players, but you can, um, with their computer game, you, you know, you can get the card image and I snip it and put it on Excel and print them out on 110 and um, cut them out and, and you know, so, uh, and replay also offers all the replay even offers perforated sheets you can buy oh, sure. to print the cart the the uh they call it their freebie section okay. so uh um i i did that and i have uh 75 ready whenever if I live long enough to play it. <laughs> well, you got enough room there. It looks like you could have, like, it'd be like one of those guys who play on, like, speed chess, like, 21 opponents. You could have 21 tables, right, and just kind of move yeah. around. <laughs> yeah, but I, I prefer to have, like, uh, you know, one or two, well, two or three projects. Uh, usually a main project, which right now has been baseball and a secondary project like football. Um, and, um, but I, I, I'd like to play some of the baseball games I have that like big league manager, you know, maybe that was a game that was popular in the, I guess the fifties and sixties and maybe the seventies that I'd never played. Do you do any, do you use any statistics keeping uh, apps or helpers, things like that? I use uh, Pro Football Helper for football. And for baseball, I'm using the Strat. Uh, it has a manual entry function. Um, I've tried uh, uh, the, uh, oh, it's not, a lot of Apple players use it. I can't remember the name of it. Um, that um uh to score games with i mean it's not too bad on my status pro i tr i used it for my um uh postseason the the kind of you know because with strat you got to set up a schedule and mm -hmm. and everything it, i mean you know and i don't really want to didn't want to do that with the short series I can't remember what the name of the. Yeah, it's, it's eluding me as well. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it's it's nice, but I don't know if I. It can be a little touchy. Yeah. 
maybe I'll think about it when before we close this out. But <laughs> for that's sure, what sure. happens when you get old? <laughs> I guess too many games, too many. Uh... <laughs> uh, you said you might go back and replay something. Do you do that? I find there's kind of like a superstition, like I wouldn't go back. And I've actually seen somebody. I think he said I, I he replayed one of the '64 and or one of the AFL. American Football League championships several times. Like, do you have a superstition about that? I kind of do. Going back. No, nah, not really. Okay. Not, not really. I I played the uh, Heidi game with the game called Inside Blitz. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. How many times? It it was fun, but you can't judge anything off of one game. Right. You know, I I, I bought the '68. Uh, they're on sheets. I like the games where the players are um, carded. Yep. Yep, for sure, for sure. Cards, baby, cards. Yes. Mountains yes. of cards. <laughs> I think this is the 76. Uh, 76 I, so there's a bingo on there somewhere. My friend Sean, uh, he plays Apple, but he's also really big in the second season. Yes, yeah. And uh, he's always wanting me to buy the, purchase the game. And uh, I said, I don't want another charted football game, you know. Well, it's, we, it's yeah. charts, but it's we, got the, the people's names on there, the guy's name. We, we, we tease uh, about charted games versus um, uh, the individual cards. For sure, for sure. But I'll, I'll probably buy it at some point, I, you know. I've got plenty of games to play, as you can see. That's it. That's it. It's um, please. I I'm sitting in, like stacks. It's like, what am I doing? Second season really is a good look, and I, I believe Keith Avalone, the uh, founder, uh, it, I recall saying he was an Apple fan. And it's there's a lot of 11 to 66 stuff. He does the rare plays, but he does them like by outside run rare plays, inside run rare plays, something like mm -hmm. that. And he's also got a, a weather chart by region and season. Stuff like that, so it's that's kind of cool. Yeah, really cool nuance to it. And then there's second season express. It's such a play it even faster. Apparently. Now, if Sean would bring that up as an advantage for uh, second season over Appa, I would say that that was baked into the cards. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's all here, man. It's all in here. You know. Right. <laughs> for sure well i was just saying i was on instagram i posted 76 buccaneers in a new season have uh you know four quarterbacks available 3.2.1 point all of them you know I yeah mean, why does that matter it just does you know oh yeah you know you can change the course of the game put hand ratty in or whatever you know henry larry lawrence had five i think he was 0 for 5 and, I was kind of bumming when Apple, and Apple stopped uh, with the jumbo sets. Well, yeah, yeah. well, they're back. I mean, that's, there are 57 players here. It's, it's just like big. That's the that's the current version of the 76 bucks. Okay. So, oh yeah, yeah. You can still get some of the light. I think I've got a 2014 there that's got the light. It's only 800 cards. <laughs> it know. didn't look like they carded any other players for the 70 with the 72 revision. That when I was looking at the roster sheet, it looked like the old roster sheet. Oh, okay. That, yeah, uh, I know uh, it sounds like with 73, they uh, they carded a lot more players than the original game. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, we carded all 1,300 or something like that. It's like, oh my God, you can't fit them in the envelopes. That's the only thing. Right. I, with the jumbo packages I've bought, uh, you, they send you two envelopes. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. We have some Bengals right here. Oh, there you go. Let's see who we got. I have any more. Ken Anderson right off the bat as a four from Augustana, Illinois College. He's got two five twos and eleven thirty three sixty six. What season is that? Seventy six. Seventy six. Yeah. Okay. Ford Bacon and uh, who's the most? Uh, Glenn Bujnak, two point guard. Gary Burley, three point D E. Who's your Tommy Casanova still gets the five. Booby Clark gets the four, but he's a J4. So when, I, when I think of 76 Bengals, I think of Coy Bacon. Heck yeah. It's, he had like, I think they said 20 unofficial sacks or something. That's 
He's got a nice QS8 there. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the rest of them there. But, yeah. Well, you know, they just uh, uh, a few weeks ago, months ago, whatever, the uh, Pro Football Research Association uh, came out with its final unofficial tally of the sack totals from 60 to 81 seasons. And Pro Football Research actually put them up. You know, I remember the tops cards when I was looking at those, they used to tell you, like, the team leader. But, you know, it's all kind of a nebulous thing. So. It- it's funny in the game that I'm replaying right now, the, the TSG one, uh, they call it, uh, uh, they don't use the term sack. They use uh, quarterback attempting to pass. <laughs> that's, that's a mouthful. <laughs> yes. Quack. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's funny. Ken Thomas uh, uh, was among the folks who noticed, or he noticed recently, that uh, on the old Apple boards, it was a smear. Now, yeah, I remember in the little box, they had boxes all over the place. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lamar Parrish is a four point court. I'm just seeing if I have any sacks in the secondary here. Uh, you got Ken Riley, he's now his intercept. John Shinner is a guard, really Shelby. Bob Trumpy is only a three point tight end and a B grade. Uh, who was the uh, Isaac Curtis? Was he with them then? Of course he was, all right. Yeah, he's a four point. Uh, uh, four point A receiver. So yeah, quarterback attempting to pass. <laughs> yeah. QAPs. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, you definitely need the two envelopes. Yeah, it's uh it's nice to have a card for everybody, even if they're one pointers, you know. Yeah, yeah. What's your rolling style? Do you have a dice tower? Or do you do a dice tower? Okay. Well uh, sometimes well for the for my baseball I use the dice tower for football I cut uh, i took off a lid from a uh case of paper and kind of cut the uh part of the front of it off and then uh so i can roll like uh i think i roll like six dice at a time okay so then i know uh, if it's a run or a pass who's the ball carrier receiver and what the defense uh what kind of defense and all and uh also what kind of play i've you know kind of my own and in, in innovation of based on the uh if the player's a fullback or a halfback or a wide receiver or a tight end do you do quotas for end arounds or uh um i usually add them to the locator if like uh you know, like the if Isaac Curtis carried the ball once in a game, I usually the he would be uh, based on his season total, he'd get like a sixty-six. So, yeah, and that's a, that makes it totally infrequent. I mean, it's great you can right. now and stuff like that. Uh, in terms of game time, how's, what's the quickest you've rolled? And the longest for either game. Anyway, I'm a slow player, Jeff. Okay. You'd think I was crazy if you knew what I did for baseball replays. What did you do for for baseball replays? Well, there's a real nice site online called uh, Baseball Sim Research, hmm. and uh, it uh, besides the basic stuff, it tells you how many times a guy was pinch hit for what inning. Um, what batters pinch hit versus left or right hand pitching in what innings and um, same with pinch running. Uh, And I try to, uh, I may not match the inning exactly, but it'll help me to make sure that a a pinch hitter um, batted the correct close to the correct amount versus uh, either right or hand, left hand pitching, how he was used in other words, during that season. And um, I've gone into baseball reference and uh, I kind of differentiate between if a pitcher's pitched, uh, if a reliever threw one inning or less, how many times they did that and how many times they went three or more. And then I note the maximum uh, number of innings they pitched that particular season. Nice. 
you know, I don't think a football replay I'd have to be that detailed right. because right. the the stats aren't really the stats I care about anyway aren't as you know. But uh, um, yeah, it's it's I'm kind of nobody would there be, wouldn't be too many people that uh, go through what I to go through to play a game. Sometimes it takes me in probably a quick game for me would be 45 minutes and that would be a pitcher's duel. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. Sure. And you know, sometimes it could be an hour, an hour 15, depending on if there's a lot of moves, wow. you know, the nice thing is uh, using a strike computer game, the lineups are already li listed. I don't have, I don't, you know, you, I don't even do football uh, by pen and paper anymore. I, you know, use the football helper. So, uh, and uh, the strat game has as played lineups with transactions. Nice. Yeah. yeah, and there's always some, you know, a lot of tools to use. And yeah, yeah some people like fictional, you know, or what if replays, you know. Sure. But I'm uh, like, I like to compare, try to get as, you know, close as I can to their at bats or plate appearances and innings pitched and kind of see how they did. Uh, um, it's kind of funny. Uh, a lot of the higher graded pitchers in APA overperform, but then I have uh, one or two that underperform. I guess it's depending on my rolling. That was good. That, well, yeah, that's what I was trying to get. It's like, how do you, because I feel like another superstition. It's like if you use, there's like a certain way you got to roll. If you under roll, it kind of screws the game up. Maybe I'm nuts. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm happy if my roll stays in my uh, dice tower. That's <laughs> true. Sure. That's it, too. That's like, whoops, there it went. Totally. Yeah, well, I like the Michigan Trumbull kind of, you know, it's a nice mm -hmm. team thing. Um, and a lot of other great uh, uh, fields out there as well. Do you have any custom boards or anything like that? Or uh... No, not really. Just uh, just the dice tower and my cutout uh, uh, paper case top. Real. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You know, not no custom fields or anything like that. Stock, stock out of the box. Also good. Great. Yeah, yeah. For now, because I mean, I like I said, I want to figure out things on my own. You know, I kind of went in, you know, knowing that uh, my errors would probably be off in baseball. Mm. Where, because when, you know, when we played in the leagues, we used an air randomizer oh, okay. for APA. Sure. And uh, uh, it, um, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, like I have catchers that have too many errors, I think. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. I think Strat baseball does a lot better job with defense than APA. Mm, okay. They, uh, you know, they have both a range and an error rating. Ah, okay. Um, but uh, as far as playability, I think the I can play a master game faster than I can a super advanced Strat mm -hmm. game. Interesting. Super advanced just sounds even more scary. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> it's it's um I mean it's a 50-50 game. One, two, or three is on the hitter's card and four, five, or six is in the on the pitchers. And um and you there's a left and right hand side for both. So depending on you know what if it's a right handed pitcher, you look on the versus right-handed pitchers if it's a one, two, or three on the batter's card. And if the batter's a left-handed batter, you look on the left-handed batter versus left-hand batter on the pitcher's card. Nice. So it, it, I mean, I, I, the master game's a lot more flavorful, right. you know, with the, with the plays, you know, especially with the rare plays. 
Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can make up your own too. I mean, if you really wanted, you can add some, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, I've had the old, uh, you know, with the the pit, the batter gets thrown out by the right fielder if he's slow. All right. <laughs> Hit the right field. Yes. Now we, I did that years ago. I was playing a buddy in a in a game face to face, and that, I had Matt, Mike Flanagan, and that was, and we we started calling it a Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, uh, Flavor of the game. <laughs> so, uh, do you just play app of football, or uh, I'm not playing really anything right now. I will get. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple of projects that I've held over for years. Yeah, it'll. I'm primarily football, but I did play. Uh, you know, we've we've got all the the golf and the. Uh, I really do want to try to get more into the soccer game. Mm-hmm. Which is a great one that uh, you know, uh, hockey. I'd like to understand a little more about. Got them all, you know. I have pl- I haven't played the golf. I did a bowling. It was really that's a great one, uh, just for a nice solitaire kind of a thing. Obviously, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Do a interesting if you could do a face to face bowling. I don't know how that work. But uh, saddle racing play just did a a little takeout on the uh, saddle racing game. We did that uh, a few years ago, just kind of rolled it. And we actually had a podcast with Eric Simon about that, uh, about the kind of the saddle racing. I've got a bunch of strato football downstairs. My brother mm-hmm. actually said, he showed me, he said he had a board. Uh, he got a strato. I got him, him and my niece knew a little app of football. So, and second season and red, white, and blue racing, which I, mm-hmm. is another one. And plus, never mind all the war games. So, yeah, I will get to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something. I think probably with the 76 bucks again with the new, new app set. I'm thinking maybe I'll pretend I'll put them in the NFC. I'll just mm-hmm. do a very small, very small bite size because it'll take me months to play it. You know, mm-hmm. something like that. So <laughs> another game I value is the app of boxing. Yes, thank you, Brian. Title bout, right? The, no, well, was it was for there's the whole history there, and there's also Glory Days boxing now too. I was just talking to a friend about uh, which uh, is 26 bucks for the base game. It's got uh, I think 100 heavyweights. They do a whole bundle too, with the lightweight, featherweight, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, so that's the one. Yeah, when around the 90s, then when they kind of brought mm-hmm. it, now they're back and tied it out. You can actually get it again. I've never, I've never played it, but I have it. Nice. I've played Tidal Bout, which is a fun game by Evelyn Hill. Right, right. Well, it kind of became, I think, there's a history of it. Like they were trying to yeah. think of distribution or something. But but Tidal Bout is available still, but that's rare. I have not seen that. Awesome. Hold that up a little bit. Uh, Apple. Nice. Beautiful. Apple Boxing. How many uh, boxer cards are in there? Uh. Let me see. Uh, maybe it's on the other end. I haven't even looked at it. Uh, oh, it's an unboxing. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> these are the flyweights. Let me see if I can find heavyweights. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Bonus pack. Ooh. <laughs> Some uh, WWF guys in there or something, or MMA, maybe. <laughs> Heavyweights and light heavyweights. Nice. What a man. Of course, the first one's Ali. Oh, there you go. <laughs> look at the. Oh, man. Look at that. It's like the box <laughs> on the back. Genius. It's like I, I know nothing yeah. about this game. Um, Rocky Marciano. Nice. Nice. He's rated slow, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the rock. <laughs> oh, my God. Slim. Joe Lewis. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Chuck Wepner. Oh, nice. Man, look at that. Awesome. <laughs> I'll have to try to play a game sometime. Totally do a video on that. Oh, man, yeah. But, uh, man, yeah, that, was a- <laughs> a, that was on my wish list of a game that uh, I, w- I had to have. When did you get it? When did you find it? I've had it for a couple of years. 
Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I wonder how many of that one got printed, but uh, nice. Yeah, I didn't buy it when it was released. I didn't, you know. I, it's kind of funny. I got away from the board games and just played uh, Strat computer baseball for for years. You know, when you're when you're uh, raising kids and you know with the, all the youth sports, you don't really have uh, the computer game was nice. But yeah. now that they're grown up and I, they can drive themselves to wherever, uh, you know. Then and now I have time for me. There you go. That's right. That's it. <laughs> There's a marketing campaign right there. Apple or Strata, whatever. Me time. You know, that's it. When you finally mm-hmm. get the time, you know, that's it. Awesome. Man, John, it's been awesome. Thank you so much. This has been a brilliant conversation. Is there anything, any words of advice to gamers on uh, kind of staying interested in the game or uh, running a league? Anything that. Uh, well, uh, running the league, I I think it's important to treat the members like customers. Interesting. Yeah. You know, How so? What is that? To... Just uh, you know, try to be understanding. Mm, interesting. Okay. And uh, be res- I, I I demand everybody's respectful to one another. You know, because I know. You know, and I always say only one team's gonna win the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, if you're if if you don't win it, and if you have to win the Super Bowl to enjoy the league, then you know it's probably not. We're probably not a good fit. Right. But, right. You know. Uh, and as far as projects, just I mean, don't be in a hurry. Enjoy it if you. If it takes you ten years to do a project, you know it's it's you enjoy the game instead of the actual, you know, uh, wanting to finish. Just enjoy the games, even if it's a pickup game. I mean, some people might just enjoy playing a one-off game. You know. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. Just like let's you want to sit down and play, grab a couple cards and go. Right. Just enjoy the hobby. Exactly. And you don't have to be crazy like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I mean you gotta like have you got different gears. It's like, you know, I mean I love to play solitaire and it's like I wanna play it and then if you're gonna play competitive, you've got a different set of parameters there, I would say. Right. Just like uh, I know uh there's a lot of APA tournaments which I would probably get destroyed. <laughs> and because I don't really know the strategy, there's you know a lot of strategy I'm sure with uh, you know playing the football game, and there might be a something to do that may not make sense to me, but it's it works for the expert app a football player. Greg Wells, that's you. <laughs> Every yeah. Time, yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, that's it. You know, I mean, you you understand how the game works, and that's great. That's cool. You know, and um, but yeah, I mean, that's it's uh, yeah, that very well said. You know, let the game just kind of play out. You know, and enjoy it because mm-hmm. so much, you know, why do that? I mean, that's yeah. awesome. Awesome, John. Thanks so much. Uh, the classic sports gamer. I'm going to put your links in uh, the podcast uh, window description, the YouTube. Uh, check it out. A lot of great tips here. John, thanks so much. We're going to catch up with you when your replay is done. Any other thoughts? No. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Love the shirt. Eat, sleep, apple. Remember it. Live it. Thank there you me. go. <laughs> Take care, man. You too. Bye-bye.